by the Morrigan. Where is this place? It's as though my mind has been clouded by a thousand ravens and my feet traversed a million mountains. My tractor, where are you? And the demon? Is he no more? Oh, Seraph, what are you airing? That you have wielded your celestial rule to renew me with life and revive my spirit? Then let me go back in time. Back to where our story truly began. My name is Nodens, and I'm the god of hunting on my isles. One day, when I was traveling in the forest of Banager, I caught a glimpse of some nearby deer. However, they were not the only beings that caught my attention. A white wolf was nearing our mutual prey, when a few mortals entered my canvas. I was swift to spawn a whirlwind of arrows and dismay the humans. Yet when I kneeled down beside the brute, it had already seen the unholy end of a poison arrow. With my healing powers, I made haste to aid my new companion, who in turn told me her name, Dryocta. I knew instantly that she was of an otherworldly nature by dint of her uncommon color. She told me that she could with me partake in the creation of visions, allowing me a peek into my destiny, and perhaps later the end of my eternity. For many full moons she was my lucky charm, and I was her distinguished overseer. The souls of the woods flocked around her as if she was Abnoba herself. It was only later on that I learned that she not only attracted other animals, but also beasts.
feeling blessed about our newly baptized kinship. I went out hunting with her some more, yet I soon discovered how weary she grew of my efforts to annex meat from deer and other animals in the forest. In fact, she treasured no better luxury than to survey my peaceful landscape and the swans on the pond with meditative demeanor. Gathering carrots for the wild horses was also something she glorified in. In truth, it was obvious to me that the act of slaying was deemed time-worn as opposed to the deed of loving by her. Egad, now I recall the soaring wall of Nanto Sulta, she of Winding River and Sundrent's Valley. I vividly remember how the free thinkers tried to turn her image into that of a Daruga Dua, yet were taken by my mother's Anu's elite horde of the Tuathar Daydanan. Now, how many deer have I heeded so far? Truly. Mortal of my lands too recognized Dryocta's clemency and noted how she exerted her prophecy to reveal when the weather was changing. If the sun performed the next day, she would be elated for her omen. If the skies ere long would open with the tears of my clan, she would hide in a hollow, and all the mortals considered that amusing. I, on the other hand, believed her to be a benediction regardless. But one day, as in all good tales, something happened. I had only assembled all of the earthlings for a celebratory cave bear hunt when we encountered the mountain dragon League Nap East in the forest. Legend had it, it was invulnerable. My wolf, however, snuck over to the sleeping giant to investigate. And it vanished, as if struck by magic. All the men roared with laughter again. Still, Dryocta howled as if something was 
horribly amiss, yet the men would not give heed to her elegy and charged at the bear cave as men do. The air, though, felt as if it had been corrupted by something sinister. Four berserkers aimed their arrows at something in the blackness. The leader drew the captured Cleve Solish. 